Hi guys, it's Darren at Green Pro Clean Limited, Window Cleaning in Nottingham and Derbyshire. Today is Beast of the East Part 2 outside, so we now have this much snow, so I ain't going nowhere, too bloody cold for me. This video uh, today is going to be about bronze wall pads. Um, on some of my previous videos, I'll link to them at the end of this, um, you will see me using bronze wall pads for removing paint and uh, muck from glass, as well as for removing rust stains etc from new PVC. On one of my posts, um, Darren Ansbro from uh, DA Components asked, how do I use that on a water-fed pole? Um, so here's the answer for you, Darren. I hope you find this one uh, this useful and interesting. But in short, the bronze wall pads, for those that don't yet know, that we're talking about, are these little balls of wool right here. Um, pure and simple, they come in that little blue baggie like this. And uh, who makes these? Uh, Rhodes American, R-H-O-D-E-S American, bronze wall pads. And these are uh, available on Amazon.com for about £6.50 for a baggie. You get three pads in there, three pads in the little baggie there. That's all you need. As again, once again, Amazon.co.uk. So please don't ask me for a link to Amazon because I know that you can type that in yourselves. But anyway, onto the bronze wall pads. This is how they turn up out of the bag, three of those. And on ours, we've simply popped a little uh, zip tie straight through the back of it. Just punch a hole straight through, through and through. Jobs are good. Next up, we're going to need, if you've got an old water-fed pole brush laying about, grab that, because you're only going to need one piece of it anyway, not the whole brush. Um, but this one, as you can see, a gardener's seal brush, been a bit ragged and minging now after uh, a hard winter's use. The part we want is the, uh, the socket, the, the brush holder off the back. You may have a, a different brand of pole that has a, a screw thread on it, or even a gardener's with a screw thread on it. This is with the gardener's quick release locks on, because that's what we use. And that's the part that normally sits on there. I've already unscrewed it, taken the two screws out to... So I don't bore you too much showing you how to use uh, a Phillips head screwdriver. <laughs> but uh, anyway, so that's that. Next, all we're going to do is quite literally, we are going to uh, start by threading, or re-threading I should say, one end through the hole. You will need to drill the screw holes out. If you've got large zip ties like I do, you'll need to screw out the, drill out, sorry, the screw holes a little bit more, around about six to seven mil. Now once we've done that, and we've got that end through there, That'll just hang over the uh, connector part there. And then we're just going to have to repunch it. Now it's going to take us a, a second to get that through. But once we've repunched it, bum, 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 famous last words, eh? It's like when the wife says she'll only be five minutes in the shop. <laughs> but uh, bear with me here. There we go. We've now got that gone through there. So we're going to slide that down, close it over, like so, and bring our zip tie back through here. Now you could actually uh, drill a couple more holes just on the inside here and have two zip ties on it, but we found that this works well enough when we've got the zip tie the right damn way around. As you can see, we've got it facing outwards. We actually want it facing inwards, so we're just gonna give it a little twist for the purpose of the video. A little twist there again. It'll sort itself out underneath in a second. That's it. Just felt a little click. That's now sorted itself out. So now we've done that. Pass that back through. Boom, 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 boom. There we go. This is also um, a little bit thanks to H-Man. He did a, a video on how to use doodle bug pads. Um, I'll show you what doodle bug pads are in a minute. Now once we get to this stage, there we go. It's attached on there quite happily. That'll now go onto your quick lock connector or, or your screw thread connector, depending on which you use on your, uh, on your water fed pole system. And you can start straight away, get that on there, slam it on the gla glass and start cleaning with it. Now, with the DA applicator, obviously, his, um, if you have, imagine your brush head is sitting out this way, his attaches on the pole at the same time, so you've got them both on the pole at the same time in opposing directions, so you can literally just spin your pole around, use the applicator, spin it back, use the brush. What you need for that is one of these. This is a, uh, I don't know what it's called, available on Gardner's website again, but this one, unlike your brush head um, angle adapter, your brush head only has um, the cog on one side. This has it on both. So it'll sit in between your brush and your pole adapter. And that'll simply clip on there. And once again, there you go, job done. As you can see, happy days. So that's how to make your own mini DA applicator. Um, <coughs> you could buy them, obviously I'd snip that down with me Stanley, but I haven't got that to hand. You could buy them for 40, 45 pound off of uh, DA components. Um, or you can build your own for 15 quid worth of parts um, quite happily. Uh, I mentioned before, let me just dip down to my bits box here, the doodle bugs.
Doodlebug is another device for scrubbing crap off of uh, off of glass and stuff whilst on a pole. And this is literally all it is. It's a big Velcro wire pad um, on a quick lock connector once again. That slaps onto there, pure and simple. If you wanted to get larger bronze wall pads, you could do. You could get one to fit that. And then once again, you simply drill a few holes in there, attach a larger bronze wall pad to it. Jobs are good and you're good to go. Hope you found this uh, little tutorial helpful. If you've got any questions, uh, please feel free to ask. Uh, if you like what we're doing, subscribe to our channel. Otherwise, just uh, drop a comment in the box below. Thanks for watching. Have a great day, guys. Uh, see you soon.